In this lesson we're going to go ahead and import our seatbelt meshes that we just made so that we can add that little bit of extra detail to the interior portion of our vehicle here. And there you can see I've imported them and now I just have to to go ahead and place them properly and place them in the areas that I, you know, basically want the meshes to be. And I'm just double checking the smooth there to make sure that everything's going to you know work properly and this is where you know it helps to to basically do these out you know like I said model them outside of Maya and the original car scene because this way I can just import it and and place it as we need and then just scale it down as we need and this is where it's just going to take a little bit of you know a little bit of time to, to go ahead and place the model and the meshes and this is important because like I said you know and, and keep reiterating the windows here are fairly large and you can basically see through the car so if we didn't add seat belt meshes it just wouldn't look you know like it's a fully detailed car and a lot of people don't do that they'll, they'll simply just you know model the outside of the car and you don't really want to do that you know and, so, and like I said some things you know do have to get modeled per shot and, and for you know a specific animation and a lot of times you don't necessarily need seat belts but you know in this case we will because we will be rendering you know fairly close up and you can see through the car so we sort of have to actually you know model the seat belts because without it it just isn't going to look you know proper and it's not going to look like it's a fully detailed car so a lot of this is just basically going to be an illusion and and trying to you know get across that hey this is a fully detailed car and this looks you know really good And I'll just say, you know, car modeling is one of those things where it it, it takes a lot of um, a lot of time. It, it's similar to character modeling in terms of the effort that you have to put in um, and the details. But in the end, you just you know, car modeling is going to take a little bit of extra time because it is a very very technical thing to go ahead and do. And there's a lot of small pieces and a lot of small parts that have to get done in, in a way that it's, you know, going to say, hey, this car looks really, really good. And now I'm just going to continue to add the rest of these seat belt meshes. And some things I may change here because, you know, I may say to myself, well, hey, this doesn't look right and it doesn't look proper. And so we may have to change it in a later lesson. And if, you know, <coughs> we add one seatbelt mesh for the front there, we definitely have to add seatbelts in the back here. This car definitely reminds me of like a family vacation type car. Where you basically cram everybody into the car that you can and, and just start driving. this is mainly just trying to get everything to you know fit properly and make sure it's going to render out well And I'm just going to, you know, continue here to, to try and place the seatbelts as proper as I can.
and I'll definitely be doing the nylon pieces of the of the seat belt as well. And and these are just basically being placed in you know in a template type generalization because whenever I go to make the uh, the nylon portion of the seat belts, I'll probably have to go ahead and place them a little differently and move them a little bit so that it's gonna you know fit the seat belt nylon the way that I want it to. And there you can see where our seat belts are going to, you know, add a little bit of extra detail to the car. And with the windows being that large, we definitely have to add them. And I'll make sure I, you know, keep the organization here the way that I want it to be. Put everything in the car main group. <coughs> 